My grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood ninety years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny weight more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and was always his treasure and pride. But it stopped short, never to go again, when the old slumbering tick tock tick tock his life seconds numbering tick tock tick but it stopped short never to go again when the old man died my grandfather said that of those he could hire not a servant so faithful he found For it wasted no time And had but one desire At the close of each week to be wound And it kept in its place Not a frown upon its face And its hands never hung by its side stopped short never to go again when the old man died it rang an alarm in the dead of the night an alarm that for years had been dumb and we knew that his spirit was plumbing for flight, that his hour of departure had come. Still the clock kept the time with a soft and muffled chime as we silently stood by his side. But it stopped short, never to go again, Slumbering, tick tock, tick tock, his life seconds numbering, tick tock, tick, but it stopped short, never to go again when the